If you're new to DaVinci Resolve 17 and want to learn the basics, this video is for you. Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is AJ Sharma and in this beginner tutorial, I'm going to be sharing with you the basics on how to add media files to your media pool, add media files to your timeline, and also how to delete them or remove them. Okay, I'm in DaVinci Resolve 17 and this is my dashboard. And what we wanna be doing is adding clips, video clips or images to our media pool and then adding them to our timeline. Where we wanna start is click on media pool. If that's highlighted already, all you have to do is right click in this section and click import media. Now what I can do is simply have a video and then click on that, click open. Okay, now we have one video clip inside of our media pool, but we need to get it into the timeline, okay? So all we have to do is click on this and then drag it to our timeline. Okay, so we have a video clip inside of our timeline. So it's really simple. Now, if we wanted an image, just do the same thing. We right click in our media pool, click on import media, and then we can click a an image. So now we have an image inside of our media pool. To add this to the timeline, we simply just drag this image into our timeline just above our video clip okay above the video clip and now we have our video clip plus an image now to delete one of these you can simply select an image on the timeline and just press delete on your keyboard and it will disappear. And if you wanted to get rid of your video clip, you can just do the same thing. Click and select this video clip and then press delete on your keyboard and it will remove it from your timeline. The, the files will still be inside of your- If you're liking this video so far, why not subscribe? Media pool and then you can access them again if you wanted to. But if you wanted to remove these from the media pool, you simply highlight everything and then press delete on your keyboard and then it would come up with a message delete selected clips this will remove these clips permanently from the media pool yes that's fine delete and now i'm back to square one with zero files in the media pool and in the timeline and there you have it guys the basic basics of navigating DaVinci Resolve using media files inside of the dashboard. I hope you've enjoyed this video and uh, make sure you give it a thumbs up and why not subscribe while you're at it. Until the next one, peace.